Hello, I'm Rishu from Just Tutors. Today we are going to learn about Circle. So this is the first video of Circle. Now, so in this session we are going to learn about radius, chord, and diameter. Drawing a circle, relationship between radius and diameter. Now, so introduction: a shape which exists in two dimensions are said to be a 2D shape. Example: we can say circle, rectangle, square. And out of all the four shapes, you know, radius, diameter, chord can only exist in circle. So these are basically the properties of circle. Now let's come here. What is the center? A point from where a circle is drawn. What is the radius? A radius is defined as the line passing through the center of the circle and touch one end of the circle. Now, so, you know, we'll look at the diagram here. Okay, now let's come here. So, first let's talk about the diameter. A diameter is defined as the line passing through the center and that touches two ends of the circle. Diameter divides the circle into two equal parts. There can be infinite number of lines passing through the center and divide the circle into equal parts. That means if there can be infinite line passing through the center, that means there can be infinite diameter and same with the radius. Now, before moving forward, uh, let me draw a circle here and let's see what is diameter and what is radius. So here we have a circle. Now, you know, if we talk about this, so this is the center of the circle. If we talk about this, from the center of the circle, a line which joins at one end of the circle is the radius. Now, if a line is like this that passes through the center and joins both the ends, touches two ends of the circle, that is known as the diameter. But the condition is that it should pass from the center. So there can be infinite radius and there can be infinite diameter as well. Now moving forward here, let's see what is a chord. A chord is a line which touches any two end of the circle. That means diameter is also a chord. And so if we say like if this is the circle, this is also a chord. This is also a chord. And this is also a chord. This one is also a chord. So a chord is a line which touches any two end of the circle. And the most important part here is that the diameter is the biggest chord of the circle. Now, let's come here. And so let's see how do we draw a circle, you know. So this is the tool, the compass. You must have seen it. This is the tool used to draw a circle. Now let's discuss it step by step. So to draw a circle, first we need to point, to select a point which will act as the center. So at the center, you put a nip here, the tip at the center, and we need to stretch the arm which me measure a certain distance. Now hold the metal tip at the center and move the point pencil point around sheet of the paper. Stop moving your compass when you reached at a point from where you have started and you'll see that you have got the circle okay now let's see what is the relationship between the radius and the diameter so you know radius is the line which starts from the center and join the circle at one end and diameter is a line which starts from one end passing through the center joins at the other end so if we talk in layman term we can say that the diameter is twice of the radius if we add two radius, we'll get the diameter. Okay, now let's come here. So we are on to the practice time here. What you can do, you can pause the video and you can try these questions. And then you can check your answers from here. Question one, from the given circle, you have to identify radius, diameter and chord. So this, the red color is the radius. This one is the diameter. And the black one here is the chord. And you know diameter is also the chord. Now if the radius of a circle is 2 then what will be the diameter? So the diameter will be double of the radius that is 4. If the diameter of circle is 10 what will be the radius of the circle? That will be half of the diameter that will be 5. Dash is also known as chord of the circle. Diameter is also known as the chord of the circle. Let's come here. So we have question 5 here. So these are true and false. So you can pause the video, you can do them, and then we can check the answer. First one, the diameter is the line which passes through the center and touches one end of the circle. Yes, that's correct. So diameter is the line which passes through the center and touches. So here, it touches one end, but it should be which touches two ends of the circle. So this statement is 
फॉल्स द रेडियस इज द लाइन विच पास थ्रू द सेंटर एंड टच इज वन एंड ऑफ द सर्कल आल से दैट्स ट्रू इफ द डायमीटर ऑफ अ सर्कल इज टेन देन इट्स रेडियस विल बी सिक्स दैट्स फॉल्स इफ द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल इज फाइव इट्स डायमीटर विल बी टेन दैट्स ट्रू now you have to write the procedure to draw a circle of radius 3 cm so you can write the whole procedure that we have learned using the compass thank you for watching this video for more please visit justutors.com